So often we see people like game developers attacking their customers. We have seen so many times people in the comics industry from writers to illustrators attacking their customers. And do you know what happens? They end up selling less product because who in their right mind is going to purchase a product from people who insult them and treat them like they're a walking wallet? No one is. Newsflash. We all know that Marvel has recently been taking a lot of heat from fans after the new New Warriors announcement with the trailer currently sitting at almost 200,000 dislikes, which, wow, I cannot believe that it has had such a negative reception. Because usually things like this have a negative reception the first couple of days, and then it wears off. People usually don't care. I expect to them to get a hundred thousand dislikes, but it has soared so high into the sky that it is almost at 200k dislikes, with only not even 4,000 likes. They completely missed the mark with this new set of characters. They have superheroes who rely on experimental internet gas, live streaming what they're doing on the internet, and characters that have magic backpacks that control control no powers themselves. And after the new Warriors announcement, we all expected there to be counter backlash from comic professionals. When you're, you know, you, this is your work or the work of your colleagues is getting slammed as hard as new Warriors is, there are bound to be professionals triggered that people have opinions and that they are allowed to openly dislike something. So I thought that we could read some of the backlash because the backlash is getting pretty serious at this point. We're not just talking about people saying just because you don't like it, you know, don't purchase it. Usually that's the response that we get. But now there are comic professionals going into saying get fucked and if you don't like something you're sexist and a misogynist and racist. Those are ridiculous claims to make because someone doesn't like your overweight Dora character. So this first set of news is a Marvel Comics writer, Jerry Duggan, telling a comic fan to eat a bag of pre-effed dicks. Marvel Comics writer Jerry Duggan recently took to Twitter to tell a comic fan to eat a bag of pre-fucked dicks. Duggan, who is currently penning Marauders, Cable, and Savage Avengers, decided to respond to a comic book fan who posted a GIF re reaction in response to a recent Newsarama article about the upcoming X-Men event comic X of Swords. Let me jot this down in my little notebook. Don't purchase anything recent that has recently come out that is Marauders, Cable, or Savage Avengers. Let's see how many comic series that we can jot down to not purchase because I bet it will be 50% of the ones on the market currently. In response to the article, Twitter user Pixel Artist posted a rather common gif of Stanley from the office doing an eye roll. X of Swords sets up the craziest X-Men stories ever, according to group editor. Of course, I kind of agree with this gif because all they do is try to hype up the product that they've created or hype up the product they're paid to, you know, hype up and, and, and create a lot of conversation around and they're saying it's the craziest X-Men story ever, yet I'm sure that you could find a crazier X-Men story. It's just a marketing tactic. But of course, Duggan, who was tagged in the original post by Newsarama, would respond writing, Nate, wishing you success on continuing your journey outside of comics. And then he, of course, said, eat a bag of pre-fucked dicks. But nice grammar. Oh, at least he's got nice grammar. And now, moving on to one of the newest situations, we have Donnie Cates, cult writer slash writer of comics. Thor, Venom, Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Thanos, Doctor Strange, God Country, Baby Teeth, Redneck, a Tomahawk, etc. Remind me to never purchase these series. 
These are all deleted tweets now, so I did have to bring up some screenshots, but he said, people who think it's a cool time to jump into threads about positivity during hard times with the express intent on being an asshole or shitting on your work or the end of your jobs are literal scum. I know life is hard and I truly hope you and your family are safe, but from the bottom of my heart and with my deepest sincerity, fuck every single one of of you. Wash your hands, take care of your families, stay inside, and with all your newfound free time, get fucked. Thanks. Much love. Of course, he's talking about all of the threads that have surrounded, that have surrounded new warriors, and he's saying, get fucked if you don't like it. And he retweeted this, this is deleted as well now, and he said, okay, I deleted the original tweet in this thread. My intent was to make fun of all of the bigots and people making hateful comments towards the book, New Warriors. But obviously, my intent doesn't matter if my wording was hurtful to my NB and LGBTQ friends and fans. Apologies, guys. And then he said uh, previously, to my LGBTQ and non-binary friends, let me say that this tweet was 100% aimed at people who are offended by the inclusive nature of the book itself. No one, no one is offended by the inclusive nature of New Warriors itself. I am someone that loves inclusivity. I love diversity. I'm perfectly fine with those things. It's when you're shoving it down our throats and making a joke out of it is the problem. You were legitimately making a joke out of non-binary people by creating safe space and snowflake, the non-binary twins. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. No one that is complaining about this is upset with the inclusive nature of the book. And of course, he's saying, if you don't like it, you are automatically a bigot if you were making hateful comments towards the book. I personally do not want to support artists and writers like this that treat their customers like this, that tell them to get fucked and are instantly calling them bigots if they do not like something. I miss the times when you could openly criticize something and people that were in industries that you were trying to monetarily support wouldn't tell you to get fucked. They complain that these people aren't buying their books because they're sexist and bigots, yet they do not ever listen to reasons why no one is purchasing their products. But that's all that I had to discuss today. Hopefully the situation with these Marvel writers and illustrators will stop, even though none of the people speaking out were directly affiliated with the book. They are still trying to say, you know what, why are you attacking my colleagues' work? This is ridiculous. Maybe these are the people that should start listening to what consumers want and not just make content that they think will get them the most brownie points. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.